Hello, my name is Xu Xinjiang. I work in Dr. Muhammad Treback Lab at SUNY Nano College in Albany, New York. This is a video summary of our recent study published in Journal of General Physiology. The title is Complex Role of STEM1 in the Activation of Star Independent OR1 OR3 Channels. Calcium is a universal second messenger. Increased calcium concentrations in the cytoplasm in response to wide variety of receptor agonists control many cellular functions. Non-excitable cells possess both star-operated calcium entry pathway and star-independent calcium entry pathways. Arctonic acid regulated calcium channel, arc channel, and luc 24 regulated calcium channel, lac channel are star-independent conductances recorded from HAC-293 cells and vascular muscle cells, respectively. This table lists the properties of arc and lock channels, which are largely similar with one exception, that is, while endoplasmic reticulum stem 1, ER stem 1, is necessary and sufficient for lock channel activation in smooth muscle cells, Plasma membrane stem 1, PM stem 1, is necessary for arc channel activation in hex cells. Therefore, three questions arise. First, most studies on arc currents were conducted in hex cells, while lock currents were described in smooth muscle cells. Therefore, are arc and lock mediated by the same or distinct pools of O1 and O3? Second, since LUC24 is a downstream metabolite of arctonic acid, are arc currents mediated by LUC24? The third, if lock and arc conductances are mediated by the same cellular populations of O1 and O3, how can we reconcile that PM stigma is required for arc channel activation in hex cells? Well, ER stigma is sufficient for lock channel activation in smooth muscle cells. To answer the first question, we decided to compare side-by-side -side arctonic acid-activated currents in smooth muscle cells and hex cells. 8 micromolar arctonic acid activated an inward calcium current in both cell types. This is the calcium current. This is the sodium current recorded in divalent free bus solution. Upon knockdown OE1, our currents are essentially abolished in both cell types. These are representative IV curves for sodium currents. Similarly, upon O3 knockdown, R currents are essentially abrogated in both cell types. However, O2 knockdown had no effect on R currents. Statistics are shown here. Previous studies showed that large currents are activated physiologically in smooth muscle cells through some being mediated production of LUC24. However, earlier studies by Shuttleworth reported that arc channel activation does not require arctonic acid metabolism and is mediated by arctonic acid itself. Therefore, to answer the second question, we sought to determine side-by-side -side in both cell types whether arctonic acid metabolism is required for arc channel activations. We tested a non-metabolizable analog of arctonic acid, eicocytetrinoic acid, or ETYA, and showed that ETYA activated a calcium current in both cell types, but this current was around 50% the size of arc current in both cell types. A 5 lipoxygenase inhibitor, NDGA, inhibited arc currents by roughly 50% in both cell types. However, NDGA had no effect on lock currents in both cell types. This suggests that although the channel can be activated by arctonic acid, LUC24 is more potent. To answer the third question, we used two STEM1 constructs, a wild-type STEM1 and a YP-tagged STEM1. The wild-type STEM1 expresses on both ER and plasma membrane, while YP STEM1 only expresses as the ER membrane. We used these constructs in the rescue experiments. Wild-type cells were transfected with siRNA against STEM1 
to knock down stem 1 expression. Then we rescue either wild type stem 1 or YP stem 1. Then cells from these four conditions were used to measure arc and lock currents. As expected, only wild type stem 1 expression rescued arc currents, whereas YP stem 1 did not. An animation at the end of recording confirms that store operated correct currents are rescued. Similar results were obtained with hack cells as shown here. Wild type stem 1 expression rescued lock current, while YP stem 1 did not. These results are consistent with previous studies on arc channels in hack cells and loads in smooth muscle cells from this study. However, previous studies using FUR2 imaging showed that ER stem 1 was sufficient to rescue lock currents activated physiologically in smooth muscle cells with agonist thrombin. So, we reasoned that the discrepancy regarding the requirement of PM stem 1 versus ER stem 1 might not be caused by the cell type considered, but rather by the type of approach used in different studies. In other words, whole cell recording where the cytosol is dialyzed with a pipette solution versus use of FUR2 imaging on intact cells, suggesting the potential loss of a molecule from cytosol under whole cell configuration. Therefore, we decided to perform rescue experiments in smooth muscle cells, similar to those described earlier using the less disruptive nystatin perforated patch clamp technique. The use of this technique precluded us from dialyzing loop 24 into cytosol through pipette. Therefore, we performed those recording with exogenous application of arcdonic acid. The results show that arcdonic acid activated a current on both wild type stem 1 and YFP stem 1 expressing cells. Therefore, under nystatin perforated patch clamp recordings, ER stem 1 is sufficient for arc currents. This suggests the loss of some cytosolic molecule from cytosol and the whole cell recordings. In conclusion, both HAC293 cells and vesicular muscle cells display indistinguishable loop 24 and arcdonic acid activated currents. Arc and lock conductance are mediated by the same cellular populations of stem 1, ORI1, and ORI3 in both cell types. Both PM stem 1 and ER stem 1 are required for current activation by loop 24 and arcdonic acid and the whole cell patch clamp recording in both cell types. However, ER stem 1 is sufficient when intact cells are considered. For example, under VR2 imaging and perforated patch clamp conditions. Suggesting complex requirement for both ER stem 1 and PM stem 1 in regulating these store independent O1 3 channels. In the future, we plan to determine the identity of mysterious factor required for lock channel activation. To determine the size of interaction between arcdonic acid, loop 24, and ORI1, ORI3 proteins, and to study physiological roles specific to lock in vascular muscle cells and other cell types. Funding for this project was provided by the National Institutes of Health, the American Heart Association, and the Australian Science Fund. Thanks for your attention.